How you doing? My name's Jim. This is my 1973 Mustang convertible. I wanted this car since my sophomore year of high school. And I finally got it six years ago. I'm a guy up in Milwaukee. He hit it big during the Katrina crisis. Made a million dollars, sold off his business, stuffed his garage with all these cars. He bought this for his wife. She didn't like the way it rode. I drove up there, I saw it on eBay. My son and I drove it home Memorial Day weekend in 2010. Uh, the car came from California, it was originally titled. I have the original plates to the car on California. I got a shoebox of information on it. Uh, it was originally, uh, just, uh, what you see here is the original colors, the, the, the stripes, the hood, everything's original on the car. Uh, it's numbers matching. The only thing I did was uh, put some valve covers on it. The guy I bought it from put the new top. Tires, wheels, exhaust, air conditioner, compressor. I, I bought the car half done. So I took it over to uh, Bel Air Auto, 11330 South Pulaski. Tore it apart for eight months. We worked on the car. Did a total restoration, ground up. Dynamated the interior, new carpet. And uh, I brought it to the Payless Sight Show in 2013 for our first outing. And uh, this is the car, like I said, I wanted since my sophomore year of high school. It's the original motor. I got it with 60,000 miles on it. I should say 54, it has 61,000 on it now. Uh, I drive all over the mid, mid, mid Illinois area. I've been down to Washington, Illinois for the tornado relief effort. I was a part of that. Got to meet the mayor and some fine people down there. I do the parade every day and every year in Homer Glen. And um, I'm happy to display the car. Like I said, this is the car I wanted since my sophomore year of high school. And at the time, I was a big Doors fan, Jim Morrison. My name's Jim. His girlfriend was Pamela. She was a redhead, so I'm Jim, and this is Pamela. So we're, uh, we're, we've got a love affair going on here. My wife gets a little jealous of me now and then when I rub the car down more and I rub her down, but she's about ready to get over that. She's just not in the car, so she kind of lets me have a little freedom. She doesn't like McGuire's, right? Well, there you go. But other than that, I'm with the uh, Lamont Classic Car Club. I've been with them for five years now. They're a great club. We, everybody in the club helps everybody. They know someone that's got parts or information and leading uh, to a, a fix or a repair or parts, whatever it is. And I'm very happy to have this car. I'm very fortunate to afford it. Like I say, this is not the most popular body style for Ford Mustang, but uh, it's the one I always wanted. And I just fell in love with it. And, uh, 1973 when I seen it going down 63rd Street past St. Rita Stadium. I was a sophomore of them. Ran out to the Ford dealer that weekend. I asked the guy, how much you want for that car? And he said $3,400. I said, there's no way I could afford $3,400 making $1.90 an hour back then. So he's like, you know what? Come back when you grow up, son. So 38 years later, I had my kids, got married, did all that father and daddy stuff and whatnot and now it's Jim's turn to have some fun. So we're out here uh, enjoying the car show tonight at the Advanced Auto Parts in Mulcana. I got John doing the cooking with Al from the Lamont Classic Car Club helping out and thanks to Glenn Becker for hosting the show and we couldn't have had a better uh, weather. So thank you very much. I appreciate the photo and the opportunity to deal with you and if I could ever help you out in the future or you need any help with anything, don't hesitate to call.